Hey everyone, welcome back to Taproot TV. I'm Benna Hughes and I'm here today with Marcus Miller. Marcus, you're getting ready to take a European tour and a, or actually a practically a global tour. Halfway around the world. <laughs> Halfway around the Dubai world. Dubai and Amsterdam. So he stopped by just for a minute to, to visit with us before he heads off to talk about something he's extremely passionate about and that's the patient safety course. And tell us a little bit about, about your passion for this. Well, I think we all should be passionate. I do too. I, uh, <laughs> we're all going to be patients at a hospital at some point, mm -hmm. unfortunately. And I think it's in all our best interest to make sure we're as safe as possible Absolutely. while we're there. Um, but I did come across a study when I did my latest blog, and it said one, in, one out of every 10 deaths in the hospital has a causal factor of medical error. So That's scary. It's scary, but it's also a huge opportunity to save lives, right? 10% of the deaths can be prevented if we can yeah. fix those medical errors. Um, so if that doesn't make you passionate about improving patient safety for yourself, for your family, for your children, right. I'm not sure what will. We're all going to be there. We will. And if you are passionate about mm -hmm. patient safety, go to our patient safety course. Uh, the patient safety course at the pre-summit is an excellent step to help you improve your patient safety, and it'll teach you a better way to solve problems. Um, our excellent RCA framework that we teach during the course mm -hmm. will guide people to find consistent results, and those consistent results will show your leadership team just a whole new level of patient safety. And that's because of your efforts in bringing a new way to do things to your organization. Um, I think it will also um, help you build corrective actions that mm -hmm. are more I guess efficient. Um, it'll help you introduce best practice or missing knowledge into your current systems so that you can support your people and you better protect your patients and you don't have to rely on maybe retraining people or disciplining people or rewriting policies and procedures or even introducing new yeah. policy and procedures because they just add up and they make our job so difficult. I was at the doctor yesterday, as a matter of fact, and all this kind of came into my, my mind as I sat, I have a fantastic doctor, and she was sitting there with her, just, I was, we've done so much about human error lately, and I was sitting there watching her go through all the records on the computer system, just trying to find, we were kind of going back and looking at my history and stuff, what it took for her to find just on the computer system. It was just white background and a gazillion black words. Wow. Nothing stood out, nothing. And, and she and I started talking about it. And she's like, yep, and they're going to change us again next and to just, a whole other system. And I've got to go find things. And those records are super important. Yeah, and how much opportunity for mistakes does that cause? That's I mean, exactly what systems I was thinking. All the time. <laughs> it's hard to find things. There's so many clicks. Yeah. I mean, just the, the mismanagement of medical, of your medical care because yeah. of that. And that it was just the records. Problems. Yeah, that was just the records issue right there so mm -hmm. but luckily she was very diligent and sat there very patiently <laughs> so I was glad <laughs> well what I'm really excited about is, is getting people and showing them a better way to, yeah. to fix their problems and those fixing those problems with those corrective actions I mean if you find yourself still doing five whys or mm -hmm. fish bones or if you're just still sitting around a table spitballing ideas on how to fix something Come to our course. Find Absolutely. a better way. We guarantee it, right? We do. We do guarantee it. So you, we'll give you, you we'll give the course return feedback. on investment. Absolutely. Yeah, so that reduces risk. But we do want to f help the industry by giving people a very methodical, mm -hmm. a standardized way to fix their problems, to identify and fix those root causes that are leading to patient harm. So we're all safer in the long run. Well, and using all those generic type ideas or just brainstorming or things like that, I mean, they can be good, but they're time waste. I mean, this is just go through it. Go through that step-by-step -step guide and go, then go to our corrective action helper. Use all these tools. They're already there, already for you. Yeah, we've got an advisory board of, what, 60 companies yeah. and over 30 years they've given us ideas on how to fix all those fixable root causes mm -hmm. on the tree use that don't ha don't uh, depend on yourself or your team and your own personal experience to come up with all the ideas to fix things use the corrective action helper I wouldn't want that responsibility it's, it, is <laughs> my shoulders. it is overwhelming because people's lives I mean they literally it, people's lives depend on it exactly and so I'm super excited because you're finishing up the book um, well, there's a book. You're finishing yep. up the course. Yep. The course is going to be ready at the pre-summit. Yep. And we do have some uh, patient safety uh, certified trainers out there. Mm -hmm. uh, Cynthia Leitner and Suzanne Barong at Emory University. Yep. We're going to have them you know, use that course as they move forward too and, and help Emory out and a couple other of our, our clients in the healthcare industry like That's the military health system. That's going to be fantastic. Yeah. Well, and, and it's not just for hospitals. No, it's, gosh, 
you can, it's definitely will help with patient safety, yeah. but it is a framework. So any problem that's a, based on equipment reliability mm -hmm. or human performance, mm -hmm. take it through Taproot and take it proactively through Taproot. I right. mean, if you have a poor audit finding or you have a near miss, take it through there, take it through the Taproot framework and you will find root causes. So it can be applied anywhere people make mistakes or equipment fails. Exactly. So no matter any any department in your hospital, any department in any industry, Taproot should be used it to, should be. to find the fixable root causes. Well, when we were talking the other day, we have a lot of clients that have things like mining sites, oil and gas uh, uh, mm. refineries, things like that. They have medical facilities there. So they could look at, at using this because you use medical examples in your patient safety course. That's correct. And so it really is more relatable to your attendees. And that's, um, that's such a good idea. And I don't mm -hmm. think it's, it's almost shame on us. We haven't thought about this before. <laughs> but yeah, all these mining sites, uh, yeah. gas and oil sites, you're right. They have yeah. clinics. And if they're already licensed, there's no other, exactly. there's no other uh, investment. Right, because it's, it's built into the software. It's built into the software. Yeah. Yes, you, just a click of a button and you get your... A patient safety dictionary in there. Well, there should be no reason that you don't come to our upcoming summit that we're going to have. If you're in the health and uh, medical field, this is a great course that you're going to want to check out because it's really going to help your, your organization so much. And on the 9th and 10th of March, we'll be at Horseshoe Bay at this beautiful resort behind us. Um, we're not just hanging out here at the lake <laughs> right now. This is the resort that we'll be at. And so March 9th and 10th, we really want to see you there. Um, if you have people that you know that are in the medical field, share this video with them. Let them see it and know what we can do to help their performance improvement program, their, their help reduce incidents. Um, you know, it affects all of us. So it's, it's one everybody out there wants to um, make sure that their health professionals know about this. So Marcus, um, thank you. Thank you oh, so welcome. much for all the work that you've done on this. You, you're going to save a lot of lives. Well, I tell you what, I, we couldn't do it without Ken Turnbull either. I mean, he's the one that helped write the book with Mark Paradise, and he's going to be teaching with me at the summit, and we are very honored to do that. He's been very dedicated to this for, for a number of years. He has. So, well, we hope you're going to attend our summit. Go to our website at taproot.com, and you can click uh, up to the right. There's a summit tab, uh, or scroll down to the end of the page of that home page and you can find information on the summit. Registration is going on now. We have a lot of people signing up. We really have a lot of excitement about this year's summit. Everybody, first of all, really loves this resort, but the, the program itself that's going to go on that week, you don't want to miss it. So, Aren't, uh, isn't the attendance already um, further along than we were at this oh, time yeah. last year? That's, yeah, what, that's, that's what I'm saying. I we go, have tons of excitement about this. So um, so you don't want to miss it. That's all we're going to say. We'll, we expect to see you there. So go register. Um, bring a team. If uh, you bring a team, you get discounts if the larger your team becomes. And um, otherwise, follow us on all of our social media. You can keep up with what's going on. And Less, let's see, less than two months from now. Oh, my gosh. About yeah. a month and a half, are we? <laughs> yeah, we have a countdown Maybe in 40 there. 40 days, something, <laughs> till days the left? summit. So we look forward to seeing you there. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you back here next week. Goodbye.